this to work? This is a stir plate, which it makes this solution stir. And so you can kind of see it's spinning, which means there's one inside here, so when you put it on, it'll spin, which makes this stir even though we've not, we don't have anything directly in it. Yeah, what's, what, is, what is in that that makes it spin like that? It's a rotating magnet. And so something that's magnetic like this, inside here it will spin with the magnet. How that's So you can see it stirring. This is magnesium hydroxide or milk of magnesia. It's, it's white and cloudy because not all of it dissolves in solution. And this is indicator, which cha just changes colors depending on something as acidic, basic, or neutral. This is water, and if you add the indicator, it's kind of blue. What color? Greenish. Greenish blue. Which means water is neutral, so anything neutral is green. And then if we add acid to it, this is, which is acidic, and you make the water acidic, it changes color into red. Kind of a reddish, pinkish color. So keep that in mind as we use it for comparison later. And this is magnesium hydroxide, as I said earlier. It, when the indicator, it's a base, so it turns purple. Oh, now there's purple. And so acid, acids plus bases is water, and it's just neutral. And so if we add a little bit of acids to this base, it forms water. However, as you can see, it'll react, and then so it's neutral, and then it goes back to purple because more of that chalky stuff dissolves, making it more basic again and combating the acid, making it purple again. But if we add a lot of acid, Which means it's what is kind of a reddish. Pink. It's acidic because remember this is an acid, and then it's clear because all of the magnesium hydroxide has dissolved and reacted with the acid, making it clear. 